Hello students. So far, we have studied about some methods of separation, such as handpicking, threshing, winnowing, and sieving. Now, if we have a quick recap of all these methods, then you can see that in each of these methods, the components of a mixture that we were separating were in solid states. As in the case of separating stones from rice, stalks or husk from grains, in both of these mixtures, substances were in solid state. Now, what will happen if we have to separate a mixture of substances of two different states, such as a solid mixed with a liquid or a gas? Then, how will you separate the solid component from a liquid or a gaseous mixture? Well, let's try to understand that how can we separate a solid component from a liquid mixture? So, how many of you have tasted orange juice? Well, I think most of you. And it tastes so yummy and is so good for our health and skin. Now, you all have observed that oranges have a large amount of pulp and seeds in it. And we usually throw away seeds when we eat a ripe orange. And I think many of you are wondering what pulp of a fruit is. So students, pulp is the soft part inside the skin of the fruit and it mainly contains juice, seeds and roughage. But when we drink orange juice, then it does not contain seeds and roughage. Now the question arises, that how the solid component that is seeds and roughage of an orange are separated from its liquid juice. So the answer is seeds and solid particles of pulp are separated from orange juice by the process of filtration. That's why fruit and vegetable juices are usually filtered before selling. Now the question arises, what is filtration and how it is carried out? Well, Filtration is a process used to separate solids from liquids or gases using a filter medium that allows the fluid to pass through it but restricts the flow of solid particles. Here, the filter medium can be a filter paper, a filter cloth or a solid sieve called a strainer where filter paper is one that has very fine pores in it and it is commonly used in science laboratories for separating the solid impurities from a liquid mixture. And a strainer is one which we all use for separating tea leaves from prepared tea. Now students, have you noticed something peculiar here? As here, we are using a sieve-like thing for separating tea leaves from prepared tea. And if you just recall the sieving process, then there also we had used a sieve for separating husk from flour mixture. So how is the process of filtration different from sieving? Can you think of any reason behind it? So students, if you just recall the sieving process, then there, Separation is done on the basis of difference in size of particles and the components of a mixture are in solid states. Whereas in filtration process, separation is done on the basis of difference in states of components of the mixture. That's why it is used in separating solid particles from liquid or gaseous mixture. Therefore, we can use a solid sieve called a strainer as a filter medium to separate solid tea leaves from liquid tea. So, in this way, the process of filtration helps us in separating the impurities of the undesired solid particles from the fluid mixture. Now, can you think of more examples from your day-to-day -day life where filtration process is carried out? Well, Filtration process is used in our water purifiers where impurities such as sediment, 
dissolved salts and contaminants such as urea, bacteria and other disease causing microorganisms are removed from water by filtering them out, thus making it fit for drinking. Also, the process of filtration is used for preparing cottage cheese or paneer in our homes. So what do we do for making paneer? Well, we add lemon juice to the milk as it boils. This gives us a mixture of solid particles of paneer and a light yellowish green liquid. Solid particles of paneer are then separated by filtering the mixture through a fine cloth or a strainer. So here, fine cloth is used as a filter medium to separate the solid components from a liquid mixture. Now, besides filtering out the solid particles from a liquid mixture, filtration is also used in separating the solid components from a gaseous mixture. Can you think of some examples of solid particles getting filtered from a gaseous mixture? Well, filtration process is used in vacuum cleaners. Now, probably you might be thinking that how the filtration process is used in the working of a vacuum cleaner. But before we answer this question, first tell me what is a vacuum cleaner? Yes. It is a device used for cleaning purpose and it does that by sucking up all the dust and dirt from our floors, sofas, carpets, etc. Now, if you look at its interior structure, then you will find that it has certain filters fitted inside it. And as the unfiltered air goes in, the filters capture all the dust, dirt and microscopic particles that are too small to be trapped inside the bag or dust cup. But since not all the contaminants get trapped by the bag, vacuum cleaner passes the air through at least one fine filter, often a high efficiency particulate arresting filter called HEPA filter, to remove almost all the dust particles and make our things dust free. Now, more about the working of vacuum cleaner you will study in your higher classes. And this is how the filters work in a vacuum cleaner. And this is also one of an example where solid particles are separated from a gaseous mixture such as air by using filtration process. Similar is the case with your air conditioners. We know that air is a mixture of gases and dust particles. And what does AC do? Yes, AC provides us cooler air, but besides this, it also has air filter in it, which traps dust, dirt and other particulate matter from the air and provides clean air in our room. But AC's air purification system works only when you are indoor, that is, when you are sitting in your home or office. But you can't be there throughout the day as at some point of time, you have to step out and face the polluted air. So, what should you do to protect yourself from the outdoor air which is now extremely polluted? Yes, you wear anti-pollution face mask that also has filters in it, which traps all the dust, dirt and other suspended particles and provides us clean air to breathe. So, with this, I end this module and in our next module, we will study about sedimentation and decantation.